Well, I can't question the nuclear weapons from within principles of just war. Just war theory has been developed by a whole load of uh, theologians down the past ages, and it's about thinking about a way. How can we? How can we think through when it's fair to fight, when it's right to fight, when it's just to fight? And Christian theologians have developed a series of ways of thinking about that, and those have been in terms of you need to have a good cause for going to war, you need to fight the war properly and justly, and you need to think about what happens after the war as well. And so amongst the things they've developed is the idea of uh, the principles of so-called discrimination and, and proportion. Discrimination means that you must never target civilians, and proportion means that you must use, uh, if you're going to fight, you must always have the minimal side effects possible. Now, what does it mean when it comes to nuclear weapons? Well, the question about nuclear weapons is this, can you ever bomb a city with a nuclear weapon uh, in a way that doesn't cause massive civilian casualties? And the answer to my mind is no. And if the answer to that is no, then you can never use nuclear weapons. If you can't use, use nuclear weapons, the question then is, is it ever justified in possessing them? And I would say, if it's wrong to in use them, it is wrong to threaten to use them. And if it's wrong to threaten to use them, then we can never actually use them. So that would be my, my answer to your, to your mother. Well, even if there was, and let's remember it's always only a theory that that's what's kept peace in the last 50 years. No, it's, it's, it is true that there has been peace between the superpowers in the last 50 years, and it is true that the superpowers have had nuclear weapons. What no one has demonstrated is that there is a connection between the two, causally. And I think it is always the case that actually to use nuclear weapons would itself be genuinely mad. Mutually assured destruction is madness. And uh, if we even begin to think in those terms, we've actually lost the plot, morally speaking. I think people may feel safer, where they actually are safer is a completely different matter. Uh, there are plenty of around, countries around the side, around this country, plenty of countries around the place, which are similar size to ourselves, um, many in Europe, for example, Germany, Italy, um, and, and so on, which don't possess nuclear weapons. And it's not at all obvious to me that they feel much less secure than we do. Um, and I think our security is based much more on lots of other things. There are plenty of other kinds of power than nuclear weapons. Well, clearly there are a number of countries around the world which are very committed to uh, possessing and maintaining and developing nuclear weapons, but usually they're very much involved in local regional wars. India and Pakistan, for example, is the most obvious example. Uh, and I think there's no reason to think that we, are in any foreseeable future, that we ourselves are under greater threat uh, at all. I think the kinds of threats that we're under, whether from climate change, whether they're from uh, microbial infections, whatever it is, um, there, there are many bigger threats to our security than anything which could be defended by nuclear weapons.